we're out the Lansu Chinese Gardens, and I'm with Justin. And Justin, we come down to the gardens often and view the beautiful flowers, um, you know, throughout the seasons. But there's so much more to the gardens in there as far as symbolism. Yeah, I mean, plants are represented everywhere in the garden, not just the physical form of the plant. Uh, we see it in the architecture, we see it in the pathways, we also see it in the poetry. So, and just about every element of the garden uh, plant is represented. And you know, and as we're walking through the gardens, what kind of areas or where should we be looking, you know, besides just the actual, actual plants? Uh, so when you first walk into the garden, if you look up to the, uh, the, the roof gable of our, uh, our four-sided pavilion, um, you'll see a pomegranate and a peach in the architecture. And the peach is a representative of longevity. And unfortunately, we don't have any peaches in the garden. Uh, but also we have a pomegranate represented and that re uh, is a representative and a symbol of fertility. And we actually do have a couple of pomegranates in the garden as well. You know, and so, and then walking through some of these courtyards, you see a lot of stonework on, on the grounds. And then what kind of symbolism is that showing? Um, yeah, so if you uh, go to our fragrance courtyard area of the garden, uh, the stone uh, design in the pathway is of a lotus. And lotus are, you know, they bloom in the summer, they grow in the water. And so therefore that courtyard is a symbol of summer. And then when we walk into the uh, scholar's courtyard after that, we have the opposite. We have plum blossoms falling on cracked ice is the motif uh, on the pathway there. And you can see this almost looks like a modern design, but it's actually a very, very old classic design of these plum blossoms that have fallen and cracked the ice, bringing uh, in spring and putting it into winter. Interesting. And, you know, and there's you know, various spots throughout the garden of these you know, little rooms and little vignettes that you're looking through you know, windows and cutouts. And yes. there's, there's symbolism in there, too. Yes. Uh, so our, our leak windows um, are throughout the garden, and there's, very, uh, there's hundreds of uh, different uh, uh, designs in those. We have hollyhock, we have camellia, we have peony, um, to, just to name a few. Um, and so just about every single one of them is, is unique and they, um, they filter your view from one part of the garden to another so that it, you have this illusion of more space and, uh, and to know that there's more to see just around the corner. And you had mentioned too, you talked about you know, poetry and how poetry is kind of a big part of, of the gardens, how some of the symbolism may, may tie in with poetry. Well, this is a scholar's garden, and the scholar uh, in the Ming dynasty uh, would have been a poet, a calligrapher, um, an artist, uh, as well as a politician. And so the poetry would be represented throughout the garden as, as a, um, an element that you must have. And uh, also it talks about what is either in the garden or what is in nature. So it reminds you that you're either in the mountains or uh, reminds you of something you're about to see. Uh, we have poetry that talks about the plums when they're in bloom, and we have uh, poetry that talks about the, the pine and the bamboo. So we're always kind of reminded of, of, of that there's a connection between not just the living plant, but the other, other elements as well. You know, and as people are walking through, you know, they may miss a lot of these elements if they don't know what, what to look for. So if somebody's to take a tour of the gardens, what is the best way for them to kind of know where all this meaning is and, and how, to, how to find it? Um, we, right now we have a new app called Discover Lan Su, and you can download it either before your visit or there's a, a QR code you can point your phone <laughs> at. And so we have some, um, some audio tours and some uh, uh, video tours of the garden that talk about uh, a lot of the the elements that I'm talking about right now. Very nice. You know, so there's just so much more to the gardens than you might not, you know, interpret just walking around. You know, the, the flowers on the plants are, you know, stunning. You know, every season is something different and blooming. But there's just so much more that you can do at the gardens. So make sure you visit the Lonsu website or you can go to garden.tv for more information and experience the full beauty of the gardens. So appreciate it, Justin. Thank you. Thank you.